Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. We're here today for another Equipment Autopsy where we get to play with a bit of 70s awesome. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the old school Viewmaster things where it's like a stereoscopic image and it's, it's basically just really tiny slides on a, a circle and there's like two and then you click it and it goes and you get the next two and you're looking through those and it's, it's, it was nifty, it was cool stuff back then. And I didn't even know this existed until like two minutes ago and I just think it's cool. They make a projector for Viewmaster slides. And well, they made a projector for Viewmaster slides and this is it. It's made by GAF, G-A-F, and it's a Viewmaster projector. And just check that, it's all plastic. It's just like really crappy polystyrene. It's really simple. It's very jank but I thought it might be cool to take this apart. We got this locally at, a, at like Goodwill or something. We just went and bought a bunch of random stuff specifically to take apart because we're cool like that. So let's get a look inside. That is not the bit for that. Now a lot of times when you take things apart, you'll find uh, screws under the feet. On this particular thing, it doesn't appear to be the case. But we got lurfs. Lurfs! Little rubber feet. Lurfs. Save them. They are absolutely wonderful for use on a million different projects. And if you like to tinker and build stuff, you will need them from time to time. The whole thing's held shut with one screw. I love it. Here, we'll take the lens out. Here's the Super high-tech lens. Yeah, I think that's glued shut. So here's, you can see the lens. We'll zoom in on that. That's the objective lens out there. There's the back lens. It's very, very dirty and color, covered in cruft. Let's open this up. I want to do it without totally wrecking it. That did it. Oh yeah, it's open now. All right, so now we're in it. And we've got, this is the advanced lever here, which lives, let's see if I can get this back together enough to show you. That goes in there, that goes there, and here's the mechanism. Let's see if I can get you a shot down. It's just a shutter that comes up to block it during the transition. There's really not much to it. I'll see if I can take the whole mechanism out in a second. Now there is a bulb in here, so I'm gonna plug this in and see if I can make it work. And there really doesn't appear to be anything to this. There doesn't even appear to be a fuse to this. <laughs> it really is just a bulb and a plug. Hey, and the bulb works. Cool. All right. So there you go. You can see down in there, there's the bulb. And we will dig into this. Let's look at the mechanism first. I'll unplug this for a moment. Otherwise, it's just going to get hot. Let's look at the mechanism first, and then we'll look at the light bulb. Now, it's kind of tricky to get around this, but I'm going to see if I can pull it out. It's just one screw. So it's not like we have to go off to one of those musical montages while I take out 20 screws, because nobody wants to watch that. Oh, no, that holds the whole thing. Look at that. Wow, that's neat. OK, let's straighten this out. We can get rid of the entire housing. The thing that kind of bites is I don't actually have a Viewmaster disc to show you how this, now there's the housing, we don't, we don't need that. But there's, there's two screws in the whole thing. This is the simplest widget ever. And now if you take a look, let's see if I can get you a close up here. You can see there's the power cord. Okay, so it goes through a little strain relief here, comes around and goes right up into the socket for the bulb, and you can see the bulb up in there. 
And there's nothing else to it. There's, there's no fuse, there's no switch, there's nothing. This is the simplest thing ever. And here's your mechanism. There's the, now straight through there, that isn't, oh no, there is a little lens. There's a, one little lens in there. So there's just the lens and then the mechanism that holds the wheel. And the wheel drops right in down this slot, which melted from the heat of the bulb which is what you get when you use thermoset plastic in a projector. So let's take this apart. We've got the lever, and the lever moves the wheel. I'll turn this so you can see it. It moves the wheel and the shutter. And that's all there is to it. It's so simple. Let's take apart the next bit here. This is just made of layers. And that's really just held in with press tabs. It just snaps on there. The problem is it melted a little. <laughs> I need a big safe pry tool. Something that won't hurt it. So if I use it, this looks like overkill, but it's because it's so wide. As I pop it apart, it lets me disperse the energy around instead of just putting it on one tiny little point. So I can do that without breaking it. There we go. Okay, now here's the entire mechanism. It's just that. And then behind that, we've got this plate, which... <coughs> It's time for the all new Leatherman Ninja. I am not carrying a Gerber these days. And that's because one of our viewers sent in a Leatherman OHT and after 10 years of carrying a Gerber, this is better. And it's not just a little better, it's a whole lot better. And it took a lot to get me to say, wow, my Gerber sucks, but the Leatherman owns it. Now this is assembled by pushing through a couple pins and twisting, so that's just a backing plate. Now here is the optics package, and this is the, now this is kind of cool, there's a couple things happening here. There's, uh, let's take a look at it right up close. You can see this is where the light bulb sits, and behind the bulb is a little tiny parabolic reflector, and in front of the bulb, or bulb is a lens. Now this type of lens is a convex, convex lens, okay? And convex means it bows out like a ball. That means convex. A plano lens is flat, and a concave lens is easy to remember because they cave in. So if the lens, the front of the lens dishes in, that's a concave lens. A, uh, a parabolic reflector like this one down in here, okay, that's the front of the reflector. See how it caves in? That's a concave reflector. We're going to see if we can get that out of there so that we can share it with you guys. I'd like to do it without bending it too bad. Hey, that was hard. Okay. Now here, this is just about the hardest thing to photograph, but that is a concave reflector. And if you look at it off angle, it kind of looks convex until you get right up here. And then you can see I can actually reach down in there. Okay, and that's, it's convex on the back. That's convex and it's concave in the front, it's caved in. And look, you can see the reflection in there. You can see me and the ceiling in here, all the lights. That's kind of cool. A concave reflector or a parabolic reflector. Parabolic means it's a very specific um, curvature and you can learn all about that here. Read that, it'll teach you all about what parabolic means. But it's designed so that if you have the light sitting like that, with the reflector behind it, and the reflector is at the exact right spot, all the light rays that go back that way get reflected back this way and focused, and then when they hit the lens, that does the other thing on the other side, only it lets it go right through, and that's how you have your first step towards a projector. So we've got a really cool parabolic reflector. We've got, this is gonna be a little tricky to get out, but let's see if we can. I'm gonna use tiny little cutters, because this 
is the cheapest, softest pot metal. It's a step up from dirt. It's really, really, it's, it's like, it, it's like tool plate, really. So let's pop this out. I bet we can get that right out of there. Oh, there we go. So now we've got a nifty little lens. Check it out, that's our lens. Convex, convex lens. I will set that aside, I'm totally keeping that. And then we're left with just our bulb, which is riveted down so I can't take it out. You can see the rivet right there and there's another rivet down there. So I'd have to drill those out. And there's the light bulb, which is a 30 watt bulb. Let's see if we can focus up here, there we go. It's a 120 volt, 30 watt light bulb. And you can see inside there, there's the filament. That little, you can see there's a little hanger and then the two wires that come up, those are the electrodes. And that little curly thing right in there, that's the actual filament. And that filament isn't just curled like you, see, like you can see. We, we can't actually zoom in enough for you to see what's really cool about that. That filament, while it looks like it's curled just like this, it isn't. Imagine if you took and you had a wire and you curled that wire up like a slinky and then you took the slinky and coiled that again into like a double coil. That's how that filament is made. And it's made out of tungsten. And they suck the air out and you've got a light bulb. So let's light that up and we can check it out. It's not terribly bright, but it's gonna make a camera freak out and that'll be fun. It looks neat from the top. I like that. See right there? There's your wallpaper for the day. And then there's our bulb. Now, if I had a Variac, I could knock that down and make it just glow. But I don't have a Variac handy. No, I don't. Not, not in here at the moment. So that's pretty much as far as we can go with it. But that's, that's everything you want to know about a Viewmaster projector. So that's pretty cool. And I'm totally saving this. I'm going to save this. And we'll do something cool with it later. So you guys have fun. Thank you for watching and exploring a Viewmaster projector with me. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. If you're interested in exploring science and technology and like building your own stuff and doing like being a maker, being a hacker, check out thegeekgroup.org where you can become a member and get involved here at The Geek Group. I'm Chris Bowden. You guys have fun. We'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.